Good afternoon. Today is Monday, 14th of September. This is Felicia on F1. I'm here to cover the madness at Mugello. The racing gods couldn't have made it two chaotic races in a row, or could they? Let's get to it. I want to give my highlights and lowlights and hot takes uh, from the Tuscan Grand Prix. Let's start off with the highlights. Lewis Hamilton, congrats, 90th race win. Holy mother. Um, how many more can he get this season? We have eight races left in the calendar. Can he get the rest and tie Vettel's uh, nine race wins in a row from his 2013 season? Let's see. Next person, Alex Albon. Congrats. Long overdue podium. Uh, perfect timing. He needed that, especially with all the talk surrounding his performance this season and with Gasly's uh, emergence doing very well in the Afatari. So he needed that. And I'm really glad he was able to get the podium um, and, you know, answer uh, the talk surrounding him. So hope he does this for the rest of the, season, rest of the season. Keep it up. Red flags. We saw a lot of celebrations in red this week, uh, but it wasn't the right kind yesterday. Um, we had red, red flags two race weeks in a row. We had three standing starts yesterday. According to the F1 coverage, we haven't had two red flagged races in a row since Monaco and Canada 2011. Um, okay, I mean, it was great to see again. Uh, next highlight, George Russell um, drove really well, holding off the Ferrari of Sebastian Vettel. Unlucky, thought he deserved the P9 or at least some points. Um, thought it was quite nice uh, at the end. Uh, Sebastian Bell acknowledged that in post-race interviews and, and wanted to give him the point, but felt that um, there's no way he could have done that or else he would have been hung by the, by the Tifosi. <laughs> um, that being said, I do feel George was partly responsible for causing the max of ass accident during the safety restart. So I don't know, a um, bit, you know, bit of a 50-50 there, uh, which leads me to my lowlights. Safety car, do we need to revisit the safety car process? Um, during the coverage when I was watching it, I just thought it was really, really strange about how, I don't think it was Bottas' fault about you know doing his job to do what he is as a lead car, but there was something off about where it started um, and caused that. And I think, again, there was a bit of an experience in the grid and it was also by, uh, also with the new race track, I think there was a lot of, of, of question marks. So. I don't know. I don't know what, what the answer is uh, there, but thought that was a bit, you know, not great. And I'm really glad everyone was safe because um, it was really, really bad. Um, I'd acknowledge like looking on social media, seeing if you're possible to see the video of all the drivers during that. It's really, really interesting uh, too. Um, unfortunately, last week's podium sitters, so Gasly, Stroll and Signs all out this week. Um, all crashed out of this past week's race. So don't know if this ever happened before, um, but, you know, poor, poor them. I thought, you know, at least one of them would have gotten some points um, and Stroll seemed to be doing quite well. Uh, and he definitely was going to get top five, uh, top five or top six finish for sure. Max, um, again, you know, uh, DNF, another DNF. Don't think it, it wasn't his fault. It was problem with the car and then he just got um, shunted out. Um, by Gasly, I think it might have been Gasly and, and Raikkonen. Um, if he wasn't officially out of the running last week, he is officially out of the running this week. Um, so that's a shame to to uh, to Max. Um, but hopefully, you know, we'll probably see him again in P3 uh, the rest of the season and maybe the occasional race then. You know, I say that now. <laughs> um, okay, hot takes and gossip um, outside of the race. Uh, obviously, News, big news, uh, Sebastian Vettel secured his future, moving to Aston Martin in 2021 um, for a multi-year deal, although that has not been disclosed how many years. Um, kind of taking the wins away from, uh, the wins away from Ferrari's party, uh, celebrating their thousandth Grand Prix, um, which is uh, ridiculous and insane. But, you know, the celebrations of Ferrari this week have been Pretty nice and pretty uh, wonderful. Um, the new livery, the burgundy livery, the race suits, the um, the party on, on Saturday, which was beautiful and bizarre in equal measure. If you had a chance to watch it uh, on TV or on you know YouTube, um, with Jello, are we 
what did you think of it? Um, my personal opinion, I really liked it. I, I always enjoy going uh, F1, going to new tracks or different places and places where the drivers clearly enjoy, which is what happened this weekend. You can tell in the, the interviews, all the drivers really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if I'll ever show up again. Um, it's just, it's not in part of the makeup of what F1 want to do, but it was nice to, nice to go. And it's a nice benefit of 20, this 2020 calendar seeing that. Uh, Nick Schumacher is going to Formula One next year. Definitely. He's a shoe in he's leading the uh, Formula Two championship at the moment. Um, and you know, the tide's going to go into that favor. I really think that's going to happen. Um, getting a drive at probably alpha next year being dropped. Uh, Jimmy Nuts is probably going to be dropped. Um, and probably making his way to Ferrari in 2023. That's my hot take. Um, Toto Wolf, interestingly enough, um, been pictured talking to both strolls recently. Uh, so what is going on there? He has uh, said to Sky Germany in an interview that he is not leaving Mercedes at the end of this year. But there are question marks if he's taking on the team principal role. So I don't know. He's hinted a few times this season about his future. So I don't know what he's on about. Um, I don't know what he's trying to do there. I don't know if it's a negotiation tactic or he's clearly thinking about his future and what's next for him. Um, he's a smart man. He knows being at the top, he can only be at the top for so long. He needs to plan for his future and he's trying to figure out what that is. So I don't know. I don't know. Will they go to Aston Martin? Are we going to get a dream team of of Seb and Toto Wolf? Um, I also heard that uh, Stroll's trying to get Adrian Newey as well. That would be ridiculous. Uh, don't think that'll happen, but that would be ridiculous. Um, and which leads me to the crazy rumor about Merck uh, Formula One being bought out by one of their sponsors, Ineos. Um, Eddie Jordan giving an interview to the Daily Mail. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Eddie Jordan says things that are right and spot on and also completely off the mark. So we just don't know which part of Eddie Jordan this is. So we'll see about that. Um, that's it uh, for me. This has been Felicia on F1. Thank you for listening. We'll be back in two weeks in Saatchi.